Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the halfway update for my all the products that I want to pan in 2023. I have a long list of products that I want to pan this year and I introduced them all to you guys at the beginning of the year and I thought that since we are halfway through the year, basically we are just over halfway of the year, um, I'm filming this on the 7th of July, I would you share with you where I am with our products, what I finished, what I have progress on, and so on. But before I jump into any of that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So we're just going to start from the top of my list. They are somewhat in category order. And the first products that I have to talk about are eyeliners. The first one is this Rimmel eyeliner right here. This is the Scandal Eyes eyeliner in the shade Taupe. So this one looks like this. You can see the shade right there. As you can see, I have not finished it. I actually haven't worked on this one at all so far this year. Um, so this is one that I, I'm not sure if I will finish, but I will try to. And if I don't finish this, it's very likely that I might declare this at the end of the year because I used to reach for pencil eyeliners. And um, the next one, which uh, is a Teddy eyeliner from MAC, I actually already have decluttered. I worked on that one in my year long project pan, but I realized I just wasn't using it, so I decided to declutter that one. So one of my two eyes is gone, but it is decluttered. Next up, we have primers. And the first one is this one right here, which is my P. Louise base. This one is in the shade Rumor 02. This one is finished. I finished this one earlier in, my, in the year. And the other one is this one here, which is a Too Faced Glitter Glue. And again, this one is finished. So both of the eyeshadow primers that I rolled in are finished. Next up, we have blushes. And I'm working on two blushes this year in this project. And uh, I have them right here. Both of these are in my year long project pan at the moment. The first one is the Coralista blush. And as you can see, I have a massive pan in here. I'm hoping that I will be able to finish this one this year uh, if I just keep using it. So that is the first one. Uh, then the second product is this here, which is the Dior. Um, Rosy Glow Blush in this shade 01, which was the original one. And again, I have a pretty decent sized pan in here too. Um, I'm wearing this one today actually, just letting you know. So this is the blush that I'm wearing today. And yeah, I think I should be able to finish both of these before the end of the year, uh, because I have pretty good progress on them so far. I'm also working on two highlighters this year, and both of them, again, is in my yellow and pretty pan. I have them right here. The first one is the one that I've been working on for the longest, which is the Mary Luminizer. Again, I'm wearing this one today on my cheeks. Uh, and this one I have massive pan on. As you can see, I don't have much left of this one at all. I think this one should be done in the next month or two, hopefully. So yeah, I'm actually really close to repressing this one. I'm not getting much product on this one anymore. So I might repress this soon, but that is the first product, which again should be done very soon. Then the second one is the What's Up uh, highlighter from Benefit, which is a cream highlighter. This one still has a bit left in it. Um, you can see it right here. This is how much I have left. So yeah, it's, it's a bit deep for me as well. So I'm not using this as much, but I'm, I'm going to try to use this one as a kind of body highlighter in summer when I show my shoulders and things like that. And also when I do get a tan, I can use this one on my cheeks. So hopefully using that way, I should be able to finish this up. But I'm a bit more sure about this one than the rest. I also had one bronzer that I wanted to finish this year and that was the City Bronzer from Maybelline and as you might be able to see through the packaging I was able to finish this one off. This one was in my Yellow Pretty pan as well um, and I finished it a couple months ago. I liked this bronzer but it wasn't a favourite. I also had two foundations that I wanted to finish in this project and the first one actually had a little bit of an accident. I stepped on this product which was my EX1 Invisiwear foundation um, but as you can see through here the, this one pumped up so you can see that this one is empty but again I used it on the packaging and obviously it cracked completely but I kept the top bit just to show you the product um, but yeah this one is finished also sorry about the lighting coming in the sun keeps coming in in the mornings and it disturbs my lighting a little bit but hoping it's not too distracting the next uh, foundation is actually one that I'm currently working on and that is my Garnier BB Cream. This one is in the shade medium and it's more of a summer shade for me. I'm wearing it today, but I'm mixing it with a different foundation that I'm also currently trying to pan, but it's not in this project, uh, which is very light. And this one is a very, like it's not very deep, but it's a bit deeper than me right now. So I'm mixing those two at the moment. But this one again, um, I should be able to finish. I think I don't have too much left in here. And I think after the summer, this one should be done. I also have a couple of primers in this project. Uh, first up for face, primers we have these two right here the first one is the elf hydrating primer serum which i finished up earlier this year and the second one is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dewdrops which is the longest name ever 
but this one as well is done. I finished both of these in my Yenong Project pan and I like both of them but I think I definitely prefer this one though. And I do have a full size of this one as well so I will continue using that because I do really like that product. Lastly for primer we have this one right here which is my Becca Under Eye Perfecting Primer. No it's called Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Uh, but this one is again a primer but it's more for the under eye. But I kind of use this under my eyes to kind of smooth out this area right here. Um, and I'm making really good progress on this one. I think this one again should be done very soon. As you can see, this right here is how much I have left. And I'm currently again working on this one in my Yelong product pan. So the rest of the products in this project are eyeshadows and lip products. So I'm going to go through them next. The first ones that I have are uh, my Steel Light Glitter and Glows. And the first color I have is the shade Kitten Karma, which is a classic. And I have actually departed this one from the packaging. So it's currently housed in one of my old... Colourpop Supershock Shadow Containers, and if I can get it open. And this right here is how much I have left of that one. I actually haven't used this one at all, I think, this year. So it's one that I should try to get through because I don't have too much product left in here, so I should be able to finish that one off. But that is the first one. And then the second one is again the one that I haven't touched this year, and that is the Sila Glitter and Glow in the shade Sea Siren, which is this like pinky, purpley blue kind of shade, and I, again, I haven't used this one at all this year. So the sun was coming in a bit too much so I pulled the blinds, sorry about that. But next up we have another kind of potted product and that was my Super Shock Shadow from Colourpop in Revolution. And as you can see I was able to finish this one so that one is done. Next up for eyeshadows we have uh, some single shadows as in like single magnetic shadows and I have them all right here. So these products right here are the ones that I want to finish this year. So we have this one here, which is an Isadora cream shadow. It's depotted. This one is also depotted from the same palette. And I use colored light brown. Want to finish both of those. This one here is from a Glam Shop in the shade Turbo Mielka. And I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. That's the next one. And then down here we have two color pop uh, depotted shades from the like from the palettes. I think they're both from 12 pan palettes. Uh, the first one here is a magical, and then here we have the shade Labyrinth. Uh, and then lastly we have this one here, which is the green shadow for Wet n Wild, the potter from the Comfort Zone palette. So as you can see, I have not finished any of these yet, um, but I have really good progress on the cream and the green. I think those two should be done somewhat soon. Uh, I am also working on this one here currently. Um, but yeah, it's moving a bit slower because it's a very firmly past pressed matte and it's also from Colourpop which, you know, the pants are smaller but there's a lot of products in there so it's taking a bit of time. So those are all of the eyeshadows. Lastly we have lip products. The first one is a gloss from Pat McGrath which is this one right here and this one is in the shade Lavendering and you can see right there where the progress is. I haven't used this one much this year but I have used it a little bit. Next up we have one that I'm actually currently working and I'm currently wearing and that one is from NYX and this is one of the uh, soft matte lip creams in the shade uh, Antwerp and yeah I have a little bit left of this one but it's running quite low so hopefully this one should be done in a couple months. Similarly we have another product from NYX and that is the body gloss in the shade Apple Strudel and hopefully you can see there that I have a lot of windowing through this. I'm working on both of these NYX products in my um, product apocalypse so I'm currently trying to get through both of them and um, I think I'm very very close on this gloss. We have two kind of pencil products. We have the Kissable Balm Stain from Revlon in the shade Lovesick and then we also have the Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in Futuristic from uh, Soap and Glory and I haven't touched either of these two this year so I haven't used them. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to go through both of them, but yeah, I have those two in the project. Another product that I haven't touched, I mean I have used it maybe once or twice, is the um, Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Fig, which is just a mini, but yeah, I have this much left. Again, I only use it maybe like a handful of times, maybe max five times this year. So I have a bit left to go with this one, but it's more of an autumnal shade, so I think I should be able to get through it then. Another product that I am currently working on is this one right here, which is the Chanel lipstick in the shade Pimpante. Uh, again, I'm currently panning this one, and this is how much I have left. I do definitely think I should be able to get through this one this year. Then we have a couple of lip liners. The first one is this one here, which is the Rafai uh, red lip liner. And as you can see, this one was able to be finished. So that is the first one. Then the second one is this one here, which is from Essence. And this one is the lip liner in Satin Mauve. Um, I have quite a bit left in here, but um, I should be able to get through this one. I go through lip liners quite quickly. And this is more of a new color, so I think I should be able to go through this. However, it is more of a kind of 
mauve almost gray toned shade so i think i will prefer this one in autumn winter so i will reach for it then next up we have this little kind of mini product right here which is a smashbox insta matte lipstick transformer it's kind of like a lip balm but it's like more like a silicone kind of product and um, which means like it can modify anything you wear i honestly haven't reached this one this year but i should be able to get through that one quickly i think if i start working on it but i just completely forgot about it to be honest then we have this lipstick right here from becca this one is in this shade dusk uh, and it's one of their what does it to say ultimate i can't see this like text over the text but it's one of their kind of creamier lipsticks this is how much i have left of this one I actually wore this one yesterday um and i haven't reached for it too much this year but i do think again i should be able to get through this one because it's a nice nude and easy to wear we only have three lip products left and the first one is this one right here which is a red lipstick from YSL in the shade 13. This is like an orangey red and this one is also very close to being done. This is how much I have left. I'm also working on this one in my product apocalypse so I, I think again it should be done maybe in the next two three months. A product that I'm not currently planning is this one right here which is a Sephora lip cream in the shade 25. It's a beautiful color as you can see but I haven't reached for this one again. It's more autumnal. I was trying to find this one last year as well um, and this year but I haven't reached for it very much. I love this color but I just don't reach for liquid lipsticks very much. So I think if I don't reach for this one before the end of the year I might declutter it. And then the last product that I have is the last product that I'm actually currently working on in my product apocalypse and that is the uh, matte x lipstick from Colourpop in She Bad which is like a new shade as you can see. This one is broken in the tubes so I won't roll it up but I did actually roll it up a couple weeks ago to so check how much I have left. And there's a little bit, like, I mean there's a fair bit left but it's getting lower so I should be able to finish this one off at least before the end of the year. Also I completely forgot a couple of lipsticks so the first one is two that I decluttered which is the Revlon Lip Butter in Candy Apple. I decluttered that one because I just wasn't reasoning for it. Then I have a MAC lipstick in Vegas Vault. I decluttered that one to use for back to MAC so that one is also decluttered. And then I have two MAC lipsticks that I finished which was Snob and Honey Love. I finished both of those but I did again back to MAC though so I don't have the packaging anymore. But yeah, I just forgot to mention those, and those were the last products. So, I have currently used up or decluttered 13 products. Three of those are decluttered, so 10 I have used up, which is pretty good for the halfway point of the year. And I have 28 that I still want to finish. And that means that out of the 41 products that I wanted to pan this year, I have used up 31.7%. So, about a third, and we are halfway through the year, but as you can see, I have a lot of products here that I am very, very close to finishing. So, although I don't think I'm going to get to 100%, I think I should fin be able to finish majority of these. Uh, but I will, again, do an update, or more like a finale at the end of the year, to let you know how I'm doing. And you will be able to see these products throughout projects because the ones that are in this list I will most likely roll into different projects throughout the year if they aren't in one already. So you can keep following them there but I just wanted to give you like a halfway kind of point to let you know how I'm doing. And if you're tracking something similar let me know how you're doing with your projects down below. And otherwise I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys!